Okay, here are some gas law questions. First one, fastball across the plate. Calculate the pressure of 2 grams of oxygen, 2.0 grams of oxygen gas in a 2.3 liter container, 25 degrees Celsius is the temperature. Okay, when you're given that kind of information, PubNerd. PubNerd answers everything. You don't even have to know the formulas for Boyle's, Charles, or Avogadro's laws. You could derive all of them from PubNerd anyway. That's all you have to know. So, PV equals NRT. What do we actually uh, need here? We need the pressure. And by the way, let's just pretend that the, you're asked to find the pressure in kilopascals. Okay? So, pressure equals number of moles times R times T divided by V. That's the manipulation of that formula. And now we plug in. Number of moles. Don't have moles, but we have mass. Molar mass, people, molar mass. So, we're going to take 2.0 grams of oxygen times 1 mole of oxygen, O2, divided by 32.00, that's the molar mass of oxygen, times. There's that 8.314 kapals per kmol. That is the universal gas constant for ideal gas law, uh, for any gas. And uh, again, that is going to be different when you have atmospheres. There's the 298K. Oh, I didn't put the 25 degrees Celsius in. I was smart. You'd be smart too. 298K because that's 273 plus the 25 divided by the 2.3 liters and you get when you do that math right there, 67 kilopascals. So there's a fastball. Okay, let's see how we can handle this curveball. Calculate the new volume of a gas, and that, that gas is at 20 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa, and it's changed from an initial condition of being 3 liters in size and 25 degrees Celsius and 120 kPa. Man, there's a lot of numbers there. There's a lot of things to plug into somewhere. What am I going to do? What formula am I going to use? Look, I just told you. Don't worry about Charles Boyle's Avogadro's or Gay-Lussac's law that you can learn or the combined gas law formula. Just remember, Pugner, PV equals NRT. You only ever need one formula. Here's what you need to do. You need to say, okay, what in my question stays the same and what changes and then what you do is you take the things that change and put them on one side of the formula and the things that don't change on the other side of the formula and then you come up with a brand new formula here's how it's done and this is like the hardest one so if you get this one you got them all in this question we know that there's a new volume based on this volume here changing because we're, we're told that we got to, we, need, we have an original volume and we got to get a new volume. So the volume actually changes. Volume changes. What else changes? Well, the temperature changes. It goes from 20 to 25, so the temperature changes. And what actually changes as well is the is the pressure going from 100 kPa to 120 120 kPa. So the pressure changes. R doesn't change because R is the universal gas constant. So R doesn't change. And what about the number of moles? We're not told that the moles are lost or gained or whatever. So we take for granted that the number of moles doesn't change either and it stays the same. Let's take everything that changes and put it on one side. So change, change. Let's bring that over to here by dividing each side by T. So P over T, P times V over T equals, now let's take, well we just leave NR on that side obviously, and that's a rearrangement of the formula where everything here that changes on one side and that doesn't change. If that doesn't change, that's a constant. And remember, just like Boyle, Charles, and Avogadro's formulas, right? If we've got something equals a constant, then the changes of those somethings equals the brand new of those somethings. So here's the thing. So PV over T equals that constant, so a change from P1, V1, T1 is going to equal P2, V2 over T2, and these will still equal that constant as well. So the new formula is for this question, what I just wrote there, it's P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2. Ladies and gentlemen, some people call that the combined gas law uh, formula. And that's fine, but I just derived that from Pugner, and you can too. So now it's just a matter of what do we need to isolate and plug in. So let's do that. So we're going to use now the new formula that we wrote down. That's called the combined gas law formula. And we're going to take that 
and we're going to need to isolate, first of all, what are we looking for? The new volume, that's the V2. So we're going to isolate V2 by multiplying each side by T2 and then dividing each side by P2 to get this formula right here. Oh my, then we got to plug numbers into that. So the new volume, that's the new temperature and the new pressure. That's the old volume, the old temperature and old pressure. So P1, V1, T2. Here is the pressure of the original and the volume of the original times T2, which is that new temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, but it's 293K, right? Because you add 273 to that, divided by T1 and P2, which is the, uh, the original temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and the new pressure of 100 kPa. Do all of that math right there to be able to get 3.54 liters.